My brother Al is the owner and the CEO of DeMora Motor Car Company. Growing up with my brother, he's had many, many visions about creating different automobiles, which he has over the course of his life. And not long ago, every dream, every creation starts with a drawing. Their fusion of 21st century technology with classy 1930s elegance and flair defines a new niche. Picture that you're looking at was one of the first sketches that my brother Al put together. This is what the car in his mind when he's creating, this is what he wanted it to look like. And of course, over the many, many months, some of the designs had changed. Now, I want to have the privilege to introduce another artist in his own right. He's very, very famous, and his name is Lee Sun Dun. Now, Lee Sun Dun is a famous artist, but he has a huge following, and people wait to buy up his paintings in many parts of the world. Now, my brother has this just a beautiful mind of creating things and he had an idea why not partner up why not create something with someone else and so he got in touch with master Lee Sun Dun uh, let me just give you a little glimpse of what he has done in the past and some of the artwork that people have bought in. The 18.5 million deal makes the highest sales record among all contemporary artists in Taiwan. Now, Freedom Beyond Freedom, this was the painting that Master Li Sung Dong had made. The art number one international autumn auction and closed deal, get this now, at 18.5 million, exceeding the starting price by four times and making the highest sales record among all contemporary artists in Taiwan. Master Li Sun Dun and Sir Alfred DeMora are getting together and they are putting their creations together for the first time. This has never been done before and this is going to be huge. Now if you allow me, I want to go through what Al's doing. The idea that he, the concept from the Vici 6.2 and show you a little bit what's going on because he's going to meet up with Master Lee Sun Dun and they're going to create something spectacular that's going to an art show in Taiwan. What we're looking at here is a prototype of the Vici. Now, just so that you'll know, when we go through these videos, you're going to understand one thing. It takes a lot of work to put a new car together and so Al's going to build the prototype and then once the prototype is built the prototype is going to be dismantled and they start all again with the molds that they got from the prototype now here's some shots of the Vici when I went into the shop periodically I would go in to see how the the car was being developed because it's very very exciting to to have a brother who is internationally known for his designs and for his luxury cars. And so I wanted to keep record of what was going on and I wanted to show the people what the process was. And so here are some of the earlier pictures of the prototype. They're just designing it as we're going. A lot of sanding, a lot of molding, a lot of prepping. Today we're here at the factory and we're getting ready to take the Vici 6.2 body off for the very first time. So what you're looking at here is the prototype. And uh, it's taken us about 14 months to get to this point. We actually built all of our chassis, our molds, and all of our tooling. And this particular car is called our Vici 6.2, as I described to you earlier. The framework, as you can see right here, this is all part of our jigging and fixturing. So what we're about to do today is that we actually made the molds over the last 14 months and there was a special way of doing it and so it's not sort of a trade secret but it's a complicated thing as you can see when we start pulling the car apart. The cool thing about this is I don't think anyone's ever really showed anyone how a, how a fixture really goes together and comes apart and how the first part comes out. So this is actually the prototype 
we don't even know what's going to happen when it comes out. I mean, we have a great idea. I mean, we engineered it, so it's about 99% bulletproof, but who knows? What we have here is the VTE 6.2 chassis motor. We're getting ready to put the body onto the chassis for the first time. This is all prototyping, so we're just going to go ahead and go do it. Okay, so we're going to lift this body up. It weighs about, in my estimation, about 300 pounds. But you got the young guys on the front. Yeah, well, that's the, yeah, the old guys up front. Okay. Get ready to put it on. So, okay, let's just set it down right now. Okay, here we go. All right, make sure it doesn't come off. Normally, you would have a jack to do this, but okay, it's got to go back. Uh, just about there. Got to go back. Okay. Oh, hold on, we're on. Hold on, just for a second. We're on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Come on, let's get that out of there. That was a good idea. Our dashboard's pretty cool. You can take a look at it. This is what the dashboard looks like, and as you can tell or C, it just goes right in here, and just pops right in there. This is part of our wiring loom, and the wiring loom consists of transmission wiring loom, your engine wiring loom, and then of course the wiring loom for the body itself goes to the instruments. We use fly-by-wire for most of the stuff. It's pretty cool. In fact, it's really cool because you just plug and play is what I call it. So we actually had to build a, a windshield frame. This is gonna be kind of tricky because you got curves, We've got indentations going on in here. A lot of things going on. So this is the windshield for the Vici 6.2. And what we're doing is we're just getting ready to set up the roper arm. And Rob is going to go ahead and scan it in. And uh, let's take a look and see how we can get this done and put into the computer. The reason why I named the car Vici is for two reasons. One, I named all my cars after women. The uh, Vici and the Adina is our other car, or sister car to this. So also, Vici means to conquer, and this car will conquer any car out there. One of the things that we built into the car is, is if you get hit in the front of the car and you end up rolling over the top of it or some type of an animal, this hood actually gives you can see it right there. And finally my brother gets the chance to take out the car for a spin and he had the opportunity to take out somebody who's well known in Canada. Now the person that's going to be riding with Al is a famous talk show host and her name is Dee Broder and very very famous in uh, Canada she had a travel show she travels around the world and uh, she had an opportunity to be one of the first people in the moving prototype it was really exciting this is a very very fast car the prototype on the move and the next phase of it is to strip the whole thing down again and to begin the new process of building the car itself. And one of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention, because he didn't say anything about this previously, is that the firewall of this automobile is laid with 24 karat gold. You'll see it right here. 
what I have here is the car has been painted, the, the body itself, and they're getting ready to assemble the body. Part of it is already assembled. And just to show you how light this car is, you're going to see uh, four, five people. They're going to lift the body up, and they're going to put it on the chassis. Now, you can see as before, the prototype was all black. This car is going to be a mixture of black and red, and it is spectacular. The paint job was unbelievable. And so keep in mind, if you have a light car, and you have a, a really huge <laughs> engine under it, you're going to be flying when you step on that gas, as you saw earlier. So the car is coming together. So there you have it. Body now on the chassis. One more step completed. Now, here we have Master Lee Sun Dun. Al had the car. They had the drawing on the car. Master Lee Sun Dun drew this, and it's going to be painted. And this car, the combination between Master Lee Sun Dun and my brother Al coming together, it will be going to the art show. And this has never done before. So you're going to have moving art, and a lot of people are waiting for this car to come out. It is phenomenal. I'm not kidding. I have never seen brilliant colors laid with gold that I've ever seen before. Very, very exciting. So this is the hood of the Vici, which we're doing right now, and I told you how unusual it was. Uh, when we first started out with the colors, the artist gave us the actual colors on canvas. That was unusual to start with because we wanted to match his painting and his colors to exactly to what he actually painted to. As it turns out, his uh, 14, uh, 16 different colors turned out to be 50 different colors for us because we had to blend those in to match his painting. So this is what the hood looks like. And also, I might point out that you'll see in the gold, you're actually going to see 24 karat gold inlaid into this hood too. So I'm going to just kind of lift it up to the side and kind of show you. At this phase, we're starting the final assembly of the car. The interesting thing is, is that the upholstery is now going in and as you can see, the leather is an Italian leather. It's a very high quality. The actual wiring is starting to go in. The wiring, as you can see, is very, very complicated. There's a lot there to go into the car. One of the interesting aspects, as I told you before about the car, is the 24 karat gold firewall. As you can see here, looks really, really nice in the car, and uh, not too many cars that I know of have this. One of the unique features of the car, amongst the others, is our gas cap. As you can see, you can lift the gas cap up, and put your gas right through the spare tire. It is a real spare tire, and in this particular car, we have gold leaf around the, the actual cap itself. Three, right now, this is our, our custom seat that we're doing. We have speakers up here. Obviously, you can see our logo in here. Everything's nicely custom fit. Uh, so we have our red to match our red and our, our, our lipstick red interiors, which is really cool. And then, of course, our door panels. We have our door panels going in. Our armrest will go here with that logo that you've seen a little bit earlier. And then right here is a little door pocket, which you can't really see, but it's also nice. So speakers also into the doors. This is our dashboard. It's uh, basically a one-piece uh, dashboard. The nice thing about the dashboard, it weighs probably about 12 pounds. As you can see, this particular dashboard's carbon fibered. Uh, and then we put in our, by the time we get the radio in, our ashtray, and the rest of the things, uh, it's right around 12 to 15 pounds, which is extremely light. So real nice, real easy, easy maintenance. We have these screws that just pop right off. Your whole gauge systems comes right out. So it's really nice for maintenance if you ever had to get in there. The other nice thing about the gauges is that we call it plug and play. And what we mean by that is it's that simple, a phone jack, you just kind of plug in the back of it, like everyone knows what a phone jack looks like, and that's how our gauges work. 